Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. Today, I'm going to be telling you the days to book off your calendar in 2023. If you're a 9 to 5 person, to ensure you get 44 days using just 19 days from the days they give you off this year. If you're someone whose company gives them 20 days, mine gives me 25. So someone like me, I will book 19 of those days using this method and freestyle with the other six days. I'll be getting 44 days plus six extra days for holiday paid this year if this is something you think you're interested in or something your mate will be interested in sit back relax and let's have a good time watching this video my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform <laughs> Before we start, I just want to introduce this section of my channel. I'm going to be talking on 9 to 5 things, things we struggle with, hacks for the 9 to 5 babe or guy. I know everyone is a business owner, but 9 to 5 is such an important part of lives of some of us like me and i would love to share with you what i know ways to hack the life ways to make the best out of your 95 jobs and what better way to start this by telling you how to get the most of your holiday booking this year obviously this is going to be for those who work 95 in the uk but you can still use most of the strategy on this to book your own wherever you are because i'm obviously going to use bank holidays that this year and that's something you can always know from your country to kind of use this my technique to hack yours and then get the maximum amount of time off you can get you know how important relaxing resetting is so yes let's do this step one let's see the bank holidays we have in 2023 in the uk i went to the gov website to get this just so that we're as accurate as possible today is the third i'm filming this today hopefully i'll publish it tomorrow the fourth second of january was a bank holiday already because you know new year's day fell on a sunday but that's not really one of the hacks to get our 19 days let's keep moving so for this year in the uk we have 7th of april which is good friday we have 10th of april which is easter monday 1st of may which is the early may bank holiday then we have a new one this year the 8th of may which is the coronation of king charles his royal highness if i may say yes guys <laughs> next one will be the 29th of may which is the spring bank holiday and then we have the 28th of august which is the summer bank holiday and then 25th december christmas day 26th december boxing day so christmas day and boxing day this year fall on weekdays so yes we're going to swipe all the days we can get for us to get into the important bits of things the days you're supposed to be booking get your pen and paper and start writing this down so that once this video is done you go on your system <laughs> holiday planner of your office and book these days off first of all there are only six months where we're going to use this hack all other months you should just freestyle based on the days they give you so with these six months we're going to drag the best days you can get and these six months are april may june august september and december yes those six months what i'm going to do now on the screen i'll put the calendar the days that are blue they'll be your weekends so obviously those are off already then the days that are red those are the days you would book and then the days that are green are already bank holidays so you already have those off so what you're going to calculate at the end of this exercise are the reds and the greens and those are the days you have off because you would have booked the days in red for april as i said initially we have good friday we have um, Easter Monday so those two days are going to be in green on the screen the days you'll take off in April will be third fourth fifth and sixth so take those four days in April so that's you having all that whole week and the Monday afterwards so for me as I told you first of May is bank holiday so that is already off so for that week, you're going to take your Tuesday to your Friday off. That's four days. And then obviously you're going to have the weekend. So you can imagine from Monday to the weekend, all of once you remember to hurry up and take Tuesday to Friday before your colleagues go and take it. After having that week, the next Monday is the coronation of our king. That's another bank holiday. So you're literally going to have the whole week and another Monday off for the same may we have the 29th which is the spring bank holiday so for this may you're going to enter june so we have a weekend our weekend in may is 27th and 28th that's already days off 29th is bank holiday already then you take the 30th and the 31st of may not only that you go into your june because june has third and fourth as weekend so take your first and second of june as well so that's you taking another four days in june to get so this is you just planning your spring break really guys go and grab those days and with this one you're going to get up to 
that's 27 28 30, 29 30 31 that's five days already your first your second and you know that's and seven days and then third and fourth are um weekend <laughs> so that's you having nine days between may and june and then you are already taking some time off in may so you guys i don't know just check, check this whole thing but i'm just trying to maximize all the break you can get you now go back to work and work so hard in july for august we have the summer bank holiday which is the 28th i think that's a monday so for august what you're going to do is to book three days you guys you've worked a lot in july so you might as well take it august you now book 29 30 and 31 guys you're getting the whole weekend the bank holiday and the other three days this is another rollover because in august you've booked those three days after your bank holiday september how many days left now you enter september and then you're having just friday why not book it as well so you're going to be booking those three days in august and then the first day of september because there's the weekend following it and that's you having over nine days 6 27 28 29 30 31 of august and then you just take the first two mm -mm, i'm not complaining too much take the first of september and then you have uh, the second and the third of september as well and that's one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's another nine days between august and september guys you deserve that break so go and start booking these things you see the calendar on the screen so you that you know you know how to book these things after all this your enjoyment august september guys you're gonna go back to work and work for the whole of october work for the whole of november obviously you're still gonna have some other days though. so you can be taking one day or two but you know all these slashing deals i'm giving you these slashing hacks i'm giving you, you take them well in this month so that this other month you'll be asking them okay which day should i take which day you guys don't need me more you know things like that just so that mm, they don't get so angry and stuff or jealous of you then we go into december so these are the days to book in december 2022 december 2023 there are only three days i'm allowing you book to follow this hack which will be the 27th the 28th and the 29th that's because obviously the days before the 27th is christmas day and boxing day you already have a weekend before christmas day and boxing day so that's two then you have christmas day and boxing day four and then you have you're going to now book 27 28 and 29 that's um three that's seven and then after that you still have the weekend which is 30th and 31st and guys you still have <laughs> the monday which is we're going into 2024 already well you know that's a lot so that's stretch. about it guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you're going to start booking these days this is for my nine to five obviously if you're doing contracts the way they pay you per day please go and work as much as you can and you still take a break when you need to take a break i can just use this bank holiday as your break and stuff and when it just gets up to you shall. and then then the thing about contracting is that there's times where you might be out of a contract so that is kind of a break as well so yeah let's not make this video get too long please subscribe if you haven't click the thumb up button and drop a comment because i love to read from you this is a new segment as i said and i want to try to be publishing at least every fortnight wednesday either this or something in self-development please follow me on instagram at metro gypsy don't forget to work smart as against working hard see you on the next episode Bye bye Mwah.